what about these other things? We find that all of these strictly speaking psychedelic chemicals, to be specific again, lysergic acid, mescaline, psilocybin, cannabis, and uh, to a lesser extent the tryptamine drugs, which have not been so fully explored. But these chemicals are not addictive, as is alcohol, as is heroin, morphine, and things of that order, in that they do not, uh, if a person stops using them, he does not suffer from withdrawal symptoms, and also he does not have to keep increasing the dosage in order to produce the peculiar effects which they induce. But the question remains, Some three hours later. is the change of consciousness which they produce A, socially valuable, and B, anything which gives us a better view of reality, or is it just it's a hallucination? Here. Can't you feel it? Now, um, let me take the second point first. Everything is in color. The basic transformation of consciousness which comes about through the use of psychedelic chemicals. I, I'm, I'm part of is it. I, can't you see it? Probably best described as one of polar feeling. Oh, it's just like... like you feel me. that everything outside is not the opposite of or contradiction of the inside, but it just goes with it. You feel that the figure always goes with its background. And therefore you see in a funny way that all human behavior goes together in such a way that you cannot have saints without sinners. You cannot have cops without robbers. You cannot have failures without successes and, and vice versa. You cannot have uh, the good and the valuable in life without the background contrast of the failure and the evil. And also you cannot have life without death. And that's a rather shocking realization. Because you see, our culture is geared to the idealism of having the good without the evil, of using medicine to bring us to the point where we don't need to die so that we can have life without death.